What's going on, YouTube Dippers? Now, yesterday, last night-ish, whatever, post a lot of videos. Kind of do that when I get bored, when I'm really frustrated, um, like I was last night. Well, I thought I'd come on here. Just got a text message. And, uh... My bad. Sorry, guys. Um, had to respond to text messages to my mom. Alright, anyway. Among, 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 among. This shit's really bad when it comes to trying to keep it together. Those videos was my review on Copenhagen Long Cut. How I really like it now. Uh, one of my new favorite dips. And how it's really similar to the Copenhagen Southern Blend. But, one thing, Southern Blend is kind of like this too. They're... Southern Blend, and especially the just this, is it's almost not even like a long cut. It's more like a fine cut. It's harder to get a big pinch out of it. If I had a can of Copenhagen wintergreen, I'd be able to get like you know, just grab down in there, and like you know, I'd get like a chunk. Like this stuff, you only get what's between your fingers. Everything else falls off. And then same thing with in your mouth. Um, a little bit harder to uh, keep together, but then yet, then yet. So is all Copenhagen compared to other brands, uh, long time. I'm about to add more to this lip. So, I mean, I guess it is just, you gotta, I guess, I just gotta get used to it again. I mean, I used to dip Cope and Hagen all the time. Um, Wintergreen, of course. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm starting to get back into Cope. Then, hey, Copenhagen, sorry. Cope is a serious boo, who cares? Anyway, um... So yeah, that's one thing that I wish that it was, I mean, like, that's like the best I could get out of it. Like, big pinch, that's like actually the best pinch I think I've been able to grab out of it since I started dipping it. Let me spit before I get, add this to my lip, because otherwise it's going to be put on just a mountain of spit, and it's going to be loose as shit and be nasty. Wow. Took a little bit too much there. I had to try and spread it around my lip. The front grill. A little bit too much. Well, actually, that's no such thing as too much, but, you know. Yeah. So that's one thing I wish was different. But, uh, you know, I uh, wish Copenhagen would change that, maybe make this a little bit longer of a cut, but, um, hmm. you know, it's funny because the fiberwork can Copenhagen apparently puts like a little wax in there, like around the inside of it, and that's supposed to be in there to help you get a good, keep it together, get a good pinch out of it, and keep it together in your mouth. That's something that their plastic cans don't have. But then, yeah, I seem to, if I, to eat, or, yeah, find it a little bit easier to keep it all together in my mouth with the plastic can stuff than this, but either way, it's a very good dip. You guys really should check it out. I am really shocked that I like it this much. I'm really shocked as to how close it tastes to their Southern Blend. Like, this is, like, really close to their Southern Blend. Like, maybe later I'll do a video where I'll put in lip on this side of the 
Copenhagen Long Cut and lip on this side of the of the um, Southern Blend. Maybe if I had both in my mouth, I'd be able to tell. But yeah, this tastes really similar to the freaking Southern Blend, which is really surprising to me. Um, normally, brands don't tend to, you know, have dips that taste too similar. Unless they got, like, same flavor, just different types of cuts. Like, if they had, like, let's see your, nat let's say, natural long cut and then natural um, fine cut or something like that. Um, let's see here. What else should I say in this video? Well... I'm going to dip it a lot in school work. Um, trying to learn how to play guitar. It's really difficult. I mean, I just want to basically... I don't care about learning everything. I just want to be able to basically play some basic songs that I like. Like, some Hootie and the Blowfish would be kind of cool to be able to play in some country songs. Uh, you know, this way then, I'm just like, hang, hanging out with my friends because I see... Guys in the fraternity, I'm pledging at. A lot of them play the guitar, and there's like people around. Just pull out their guitar, go outside, and just start playing for them. Everyone sits around, and listens. A little jam session work. They all two, three people outside with their guitars playing. And it's pretty cool. I wish I could join in, but I'm no good. Um, you know, I'm struggling with like transferring chords and shit. And just, I mean, my guitar is old. It's my dad's old guitar that he, he got from work, and then he gave it to me so that I could have it when I told him I wanted to start learning how to play guitar. And, uh, so he's, I think he got, probably got about nine, ten years ago, I'd say. And never was really played. And then I got it, and I tuned it. I don't know, maybe it just doesn't sound right sometimes when I strum it. And um, I know the chords need to be loosened up a little bit so they're not as hard to press in or to hold down. Because when I play my friend's guitars, you know, theirs, I, I seem to be able to hit the notes a lot better than with that one. It's a little bit harder to hold down the notes a hell of a lot harder, but, you know, uh, I'll figure it out. Maybe that's just how my guitar is, I don't know. Um... But yeah, um, I guess yet again, definitely check this stuff out. It's very good. Um, cost same as normal Copenhagen. I don't remember how much it cost me. Well, I bought two cans for like like eight fifty or some shit like that. Two cans of Copenhagen. That's about how much it costs out around here. But of course, it's up here where I go to college. It's different from price on Copenhagen. It's different from where back where I, my parents' house is. It's different over there. And so obviously it's gonna be different where you guys live too, but it's about the same price as all Copenhagen. I don't think anywhere charges more, depending on the flavor or whatever. I know that a lot of places charge different for their like pouches and stuff like that, or if it's like a special edition crap like that. But it's a good dip, guys. Check it out. Recommend us to your friends, guys. Come on, join the winter the Wintergreen Warriors today. So what we got over here on our channel, we're the Wintergreen Warriors. Uh, maybe we get bigger. We'll do t-shirts or something like that. We'll be able to sell them online. Who knows? That's only if we get real big, though. So, anyway, guys. Thanks for checking in. Keep watching our videos. Keep dipping. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Like it up. Peace.